here. So what he's doing there, that's called a release call. So this is a male toad. Um, the way I'm holding him is a safe way to hold frogs and toads around the way. So I'll get to your question in a second. I just want to lose track of them. So when they mate, the male will grab a female like this. Um, what he's doing right now is telling me I'm a boy that go with me. Um, so frogs and toads, that's a characteristic of frogs and toads, is they vocalize. Uh, during the breeding season, they will croak or chirp or make a wide range of sounds to attract the mate. But when I walk around, take note of his hind legs. Now, he's not a typical toad. The toads we have here in Maryland have much drier skin and they're much wartier. But the Sonoran Desert Toad has a little bit more of a smoother skin, but he still does have some pretty prominent warts on his hind legs. And then if you look behind his eyes, there are two big bumps. And those are what's called parotoid glands. Now those glands contain a toxin. So this toad is actually, has poison in those glands. So if a predator were to grab this toad, a milky substance would come out of those glands and either taste really, really bad, depending on the species, or uh, give a burning, itching sensation to whatever's grabbing it, like if a dog grabs these toads. Uh, they don't grab another one again. These toads stay underground again most of their life. Um, when the rains come in the spring and, and in the summertime, they will come out, they will eat as much as they can, and then they will go back underground. Um, they're in, just like our, uh, uh, all frogs and toads are carnivorous. They eat insects of some type. Um, these toads get really big. Uh, he's, he's kind of halfway grown right now. And so they'll eat some pretty big uh, critters if they can get their mouths on them. So I don't want to stress them out too much. I'm going to put them back 